Top 5 Ghosts Caught on Camera Caught on CCTV Facebook user Carly Tritzler shared a very bizarre video that was recorded by her CCTV camera outside her home in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. In the video, a deer can be seen walking through her yard. But that's not all. Bizarrely, a tiny dark little figure seems to be following the deer in the dark of night. Now, I have no idea what this little thing could be. Even after brightening the footage, it doesn't appear to be any kind of pet or wild animal. And whatever it is, it almost looks like it's walking on two legs. For now, the mysterious footage remains unsolved. But I'm very curious to hear what you guys think this little thing could be. A Nukes Top 5 viewer who wishes to remain anonymous, let's just call him or her Alex for the sake of the video, emailed me about a CCTV recording captured at an undisclosed sleep lab during a sleep apnea test. Alex says that a co-worker was monitoring a widowed female patient's sleep. And then this happened. I'm gonna start recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes. yes. It's gone now. Now to get a better understanding of what is going on, a bit of explanation is necessary. So the squiggly lines that can be seen at the bottom of the screen indicate that the woman has stopped breathing during her sleep. The mysterious pale figure then appears to reach out to wake the woman, after which she begins to breathe again. Alex believes the apparition might have been the patient's deceased husband, still carefully watching over her from beyond the grave. But what do you think this strange pale shape could be? Let me know down in the comments. Let me just start recording. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Yes. It's gone now. The end of the road. Popular Guatemalan news reporter Vivian Vasquez is driving in traffic on her way to work to report the early morning news. But she will never make it to the news station because Vivian herself becomes the tragic subject of the morning news when her lifeless body is discovered in a horrible car accident. Her family, co-workers, and fans are shocked and saddened when they hear of her sudden tragic passing. Guatemalan traffic police show up on the scene and record footage of the wreckage as evidence. But after the video is released to the public, morning viewers and fans all hear something in the footage that is absolutely chilling. And this time, did you hear it? The anguished voice of a woman can be heard crying out in Spanish, what did you do to me? When watching the footage, it becomes clear that it makes no sense for anyone present at the site of the accident to be screaming, what did you do to me? Vivian's loyal fans believe that it was her anguished spirit crying out from beyond the grave. To this day, the Guatemalan authorities have not found the cause of Vivian's accident. Even stranger, Vivian's cell phone was never returned to her family. And no one knows why. So just what happened to Vivian Vasquez? And what are your thoughts on this bizarre and tragic recording? Let me know down below. The Lurker in the Woods. So this is vlog one today. My first vlog ever. Woohoo! Travel vlogger Mihaela from the YouTube channel Mihaela Claudia P records a road trip through her home country of Romania and makes a stop at one of the most haunted forests in the world, the Hoyabachu Forest in Transylvania. 
Local legends tell the story of a girl who disappeared in the woods only to reappear five years later with no recollection of what happened to her. Another story is that of a shepherd who along with his sheep completely vanished in the woods, never to be seen again. Mihaela arrives at the forest at nightfall and is all alone as she nervously makes her way through the woods. Everywhere she goes she finds the skeletal remains of animals, but it's something else that she should be much more worried about. Mihaela might not be as alone in the woods as she thinks. Yes, I am dead crazy to walk alone in the so-called most haunted forest in the world and I'm very scared of wild animals. I have to admit I'm terrified and I do not know where the exit is. Basically, me, basically they told me that the legend says that a shepherd went into the forest with the sheep and he never came out. That's the actual legend and that's why this forest has this fame of the most hunted because he went in and he never came back. And yes, you saw the footage with the sheep that's dead. That's a skull, a sheep skull that you saw. And if you don't believe me, you can check yourself the legend. Okay. Mihaela begins to hear the disturbing sound of footsteps in the leaves. Someone or something is coming closer and closer. She makes a run for it and makes it safely back to her car. But did you see it? Because not long before Mihaela records the rustling sounds of someone moving through the woods, a dark figure appears to be lurking around in the trees behind her, just watching. The vlogger says she never saw anyone and has no idea who or what this creepy lurker could be. So are the stories true? Is the Hoyabachu forest in Transylvania really haunted? Or is this just some random creep stalking Mihaela through the dark abandoned woods? You decide. You can find this video and more over on the YouTube channel Mihaela Claudia P. The Forbidden Room Popular Japanese paranormal YouTube channel Omagatoki Film received a horrifying video from a woman who wishes to remain anonymous. They refer to her only under the alias Nakayama. Nakayama claims that her grandmother had a very strange but strict rule for anyone visiting her home. Never go upstairs. Nakayama claims that she has heard creepy sounds coming from the second floor and once saw a shadow figure quickly passing through the hallway at the top of the stairs. After the creepy experience, Nakayama was told the sad story of her grandmother's sister. Almost 40 years ago, the sister was living upstairs on the second floor. She was happily engaged to be married. <laughs> However, the engagement was broken off by her fiance right before the wedding. Soon after, the heartbroken woman went missing and was never seen again. Her room on the second floor has been locked and off limits ever since. Nakayama is now a grown woman and her grandmother has since passed away. As the last living relative, she now owns the property and is considering selling it. One evening, she goes to her grandmother's house. Gathering her courage, she records a video as for the first time ever, she goes up to the second floor and approaches the locked door of the forbidden room. That's when things take a truly terrifying turn.
eyes of someone or something can be seen peeking out through the crack of the locked door. When paranormal investigators Hiro, Tomo, and cameraman T see the video, they are shocked. They decide to visit the creepy allegedly haunted house to investigate. With Nakayama's permission, they take the lock off the door upstairs and go inside the mysterious forbidden room. The room inside appears to be rotting, and the team finds old photos of a woman wearing a kimono. They also find some very strange objects, including a doll, a covered mirror, and a traditional Japanese dress hanging from a cupboard. The Omagatoki team begins to get a strange, unsettling feeling that something is very off about this room. ちょっと The face of a woman in one of the creepy old photos appears to move to look back at the team. The three friends are getting more and more freaked out, but they try to stay calm for the sake of their investigation. But things are about to get even scarier. <laughs> The door to the hallway suddenly slams shut even though no one is there. The Omagatoki team is a bit freaked out and feel that they should probably end their investigation very soon. But what happens next is downright chilling. すいません。あ、誰誰かいます<笑> あ、全然。ま、あれ、もしあれだったら、全然。いや、まあ、別に。あ、いいです。いや、本当。ここ。
Ni 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 ちょっと、皆さんちょっと、あのもう行こう行こう行こう行こう。行こう行こう。皆さんもう一回出よう。いいからもう行こう行こう行こう。大丈夫大丈夫。今おかしいですよ。行こう行こう。おかしいよ。The three friends are baffled and shocked. They have no idea why Nakayama is suddenly acting so bizarre. The guys decide to leave, but they don't feel right about leaving Nakayama alone in the house. So they return to the home, but when they go back inside, they discover that Nakayama has disappeared. After a little discussion, Investigator Tomo feels confident enough to do a solo investigation inside the forbidden room all alone. Hiro and cameraman T wait downstairs as Tomo stays behind with nothing but a camera. It did not go well. ボスボス喋る声とはすっごい視線をね感じる今隣のタンスに誰がいるこの隙間から誰か覗いてる Tomo-san, onas, onas, ona, ona. Ina, ina, ina. A horrified Tomo begins to see movement inside a nearby cupboard and calls for his friends. Hiro and cameraman T hurry upstairs. And together they open the door, but no one inside. The Omagatoki team has finally just had enough, and they get out of there. After this investigation, the team says that they have made multiple attempts to reach out to the woman, Nakayama, but they haven't heard from her since. So, just what is going on inside this creepy house in this creepy forbidden room? You decide. You can watch this full two part series with English subtitles over on the YouTube channel Omagatoki Film. <laughs> Meanwhile, on TikTok, TikTok user Ashley Rain has only ever posted videos of her family and all of their cute cats. But this next video is completely different from anything she has ever posted before. Ashley claims that late one night their motion activated security camera caught something truly bizarre. One of Ashley's cats seems to be staring at a bizarre translucent apparition with glowing eyes that appears to be staring right back at the cat. 
At first glance, it just looks like the cat's owner playing peekaboo. But then the pale figure suddenly just floats up toward the ceiling before vanishing into thin air. Curious TikTok commenters believe Ashley's cat might have been trying to protect the home from an unwanted dark entity. Ashley says that the family has since moved to a new home and is happy to be out of their old house for good. But is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Simon Lockhart is a security guard at a hotel in downtown Providence, Rhode Island. Simon sent me an email in which he says that a few months ago, a man tragically lost his life at the hotel. He says that ever since, he has been experiencing strange supernatural events during his security shifts. As the paranormal activity intensified, Simon began to record evidence and post it to TikTok. So I'm in the bathroom right now. I'm not going to the bathroom if you're wondering. <laughs> but uh, I'm hearing like shuffling sounds outside the door. And I need to put the camera on. <laughs> Bro, bro, what the f was that? No. Then, only two weeks later, this happens. I swear to God, I heard like a woman talking in here. I swear to God, I heard a woman talking. What the f Oh, f no. I'm not, no. No, I'm not doing that. But before long, the loud bangs and unexplained voices turn into something much more sinister. Oh my god, what the f what the f Bro Bro Holy sh No 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 Simon records as something that he can't see seems to charge up the staircase right at him. But did you see it? Simon's concerned TikTok viewers point out something that he missed in his original video. Something downright chilling. Watch again. Oh my god, what the f what the f Bro. It looks as if a face can be seen watching him through the window of a door on the 8th floor. The security guard says that there was no one around and he didn't see anyone at the window at the time. He only noticed it after TikTok viewers pointed it out. Over the course of several months, Simon continues to record everything he experiences. Then late one night, the security guard is sent out to the hotel's restaurant after reports of some very unusual activity. It really did not go well. I'm over at the, the restaurant right now that's connected to our hotel. The door's been wide open and they said they've seen lights going on and off in here. This is the attic area. Uh, very, very narrow stairs and I just smashed my head on this freaking pipe. Hello? Oh my god.
There's no one here. There's no one here. I'm f Nope. Nope. Okay. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. Okay. Just leave me alone. The nervous security guard hears someone say the words, get out. And soon after feels something or someone pull at his shirt. In a panic, Simon tries to descend the steep staircase as fast as he can, but he actually slips and breaks his ankle. As always, whether it's all real or not, I leave it to you to decide. But either way, best wishes to Simon for his speedy recovery, and you can follow his story over on his TikTok page. It's Simon. Thanks for watching. Check out some weird stuff and extra clips over on my Instagram and on my Twitter. And then there's a TikTok too. Anyway, hopefully I'll see you next week.